Hello, uh, Mr. John Greg Miller. Yes. Juan Cotello, the devil's advocate. Whose advocate? The devil's advocate. Ah, there are many of you in these times. How can I help you? I thought I was the only one. No, no, no. In these times, there are many, many, and less and less people of faith. Can I talk to you for a while? Please, sit down. As far as I know, you have a mission. Correct. Can you share it with me, or is it a private mission? No, it's a mission that is called for the love of God worldwide. It is a mission that is helping people to understand these times, this war that's taking place in the world today this war of good against evil. Most of us don't see it because it's a spiritual war. The world has put us almost into a hypnotic sleep. We just function like robots and we have no time. We have no time for ourselves, for one another, to understand God, the Bible, to pray. The forces of the world today are trying to shout down every single person that says this and call them crazy, a fanatic, a homophobic, and I'm tired of that. I know this is wrong. I am a child of God. God exists. Have you always thought like this? No. And what happened? What happened very simply is the mercy of God. So simple. <laughs> One night, suddenly, I was introduced to the mother of God. My wife asked me to attend a meeting about uh, a number of children in a place called Medjugorje and the purported appearances of the Mother of God and her messages. I declined because at that time, if you wanted to have my blood pressure go up, all you had to do was mention the Catholic Church. And suddenly, something happened. Uh, the best way to describe it is her saying to me, son, have you had enough? Are you ready to come home? And to my great surprise, my internal answer was yes. I couldn't think, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't eat. All that I could think about is how do I get to this place? How do I get nearer to God? So at the very next morning, I was at the travel agent booking tickets to go to this little place that no one had heard of. And there, my life began to change. That was 24 years ago. You were introduced to the Mother of God. Can you introduce her to me? She is the one who appeals in this heavenly court for her children. This is the true advocate. God's advocate, her name is Mary. Tus hijos, mis hijos, les cuesta volver. Las heridas de su corazón son enormes. Son las heridas que ellos mismos se han causado despreciando mi voluntad. No es suficiente con haberles creado, con haberles regalado este mundo maravilloso para que me amen. Tampoco les basta con que Jesús se entregue a su servicio como hombre y como alimento ni con la ayuda de mis sacerdotes a quien doy todo mi poder de sanar incluso algunos de ellos olvidan mis leyes ¿qué más puedo hacer? déjame ir a mí, déjame intentarlo soy su madre, son mis hijos tú me los diste ve, diles cuánto les amo diles que les perdono todo, que olvido todo que vuelvan Elige a los más sencillos, a los más humildes, para que sean tus mensajeros. Tal vez a ellos les crean. Diles que les amo. Ve con ellos. It's a time of, of great hope, where the voice of God is on the wind now throughout the world. In over 300 places in the world, the church is investigating where the Mother of God is appearing and leaving this urgent call. Children, you are going too far. Return to the Father through the Son, return. There are some periods of history, there are some individuals, they are able to communicate 
those words in such a way that you understand. Because when God speaks to you, you don't listen. If you have the desire to know God, the place to begin is from your heart. Father, it's me, your little child. Please, Father, help me. I'm confused, I'm hurt, I'm broken, I'm scared, I'm afraid. I don't know, I don't understand. I try to go through my life, but it's not working. In my heart, in my daily life, I'm missing something. And I know it's you, but I don't know how to speak to you. I don't know where you are. Please, Father, hear my voice. Please help me. And for God, that prayer is the most beautiful of all sounds. Thank you so much, Mr. John Rick Miller. I also have a mission, so you have to leave. May God go with you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. God bless you.